capital S is the spirit of God, small s is the spirit of man. Okay? Once in a while, they kind of misplace it, but we'll teach that another time. Now, let's jump over to chapter 3. Now, now, let's take it up to the next level. For this cause, I, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles. In other words, my assignment is specifically to you, the Gentiles. I am assigned to you. If you have heard of the dispensation of grace, of the grace of God, which was given me to you, what? In other words, God gave me a grace, an anointing, a calling, a mandate, an assignment that is specifically assigned to minister to you as the Gentiles. That's clear enough? Is that okay so far? Remember the argument that arose between Paul and, and uh, Peter? Then he says, no, Peter, you are an apostle to the Jews and I am an apostle to the Gentiles. Very clear distinction. He's saying, I am called to you. Okay, let's keep going. How that by revelation he made known unto me, there's another word, underline it, the mystery. He made known unto me the mystery as I wrote to you in a few words. Wherefore, when you read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of the anointed one and his anointing. Now remember, when the time that we're reading here, the reference that they make to the word of God is not what you have as a Bible. You okay with that? So when they talk about my, my, my revelation of the word, he's not talking about the Bible that you have. He's talking about the, 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 the Tanakh, which is the Torah, the prophets, and the writings, and the Psalms. You okay with that so far? So he was reading that part of the Bible that you call the Old Testament, and God began to give him a revelation about the Spirit of God and about Christ at work in the Gentiles, giving them access to the Father so that they can become heirs of the promises and partakers of the commonwealth. This is, this is good. Are you, are you still here? Can we go on a little bit more? Okay, what verse were we on? Verse 4. Just checking if you are awake. <laughs> Whereby when you read, you may understand the mystery that, I'm, that has been given to me. The verse 5. Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now, here's another key word, revealed unto the, uh, his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. In other words, in this dispensation, there are things that God is revealing specifically for this particular generation that we're reading about. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of the promise in the anointed one and his anointing by the gospel. So in other words, the gospel is our access point so that we qualify to be partakers of this thing that is calling the life that is in Christ, that is promises, that is covenants, that is a commonwealth. So by the hearing and the receiving of the gospel, I qualify myself to access that which God has made available for me all along. Powerful. <laughs> 